Hi, I'm Andrew Cardamoni. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it means when you get no match during your alloy testing using the Vanta XRF analyzer. I will also discuss how to obtain the appropriate grade match for your sample. In today's example, I'll be analyzing a nickel alloy, Monel K500. As you can see, no grade to compare has appeared across the top of the screen. Let's take a look at the chemistry to better understand what might be going on here. We are clearly analyzing a nickel alloy, so why didn't we get a match? The most common reason for no match to occur is sample contamination. This can happen when a sample is painted, plated, or coated. Since we're working with a known alloy standard, however, contamination doesn't seem to be our issue. Although it's far less common, the sample not being included in the grade library can also cause no match to occur. To check if this is the case, open the grade match icon, scroll down to the libraries, select the library, and open the list. We can see here that Monel K500 is indeed included in our active library. So we've ruled out contamination, and our sample is in the active library. So what else can we do to get a match? Let's go back to the grade match page. You'll notice across the top that it says show match number less than four. The match number is an indication of how closely the chemistry of your sample matches the chemistry specified in the grade library. A value of one indicates a very good match, whereas a value of 10 indicates a poor match. Let's increase our value to six and retest our sample. You can see now that we've successfully identified the material as Monel K500. You'll also notice that below the sample name, there's a small value 5.0. That is the match number. Since we previously specified the match number had to be less than four, we obtained no match. Now that we've increased our match number to six, we were able to obtain a match. In our case, since we are comparing our sample to a single alloy grade, we're able to refine this search even further. To do that, once again, open the grade match icon, scroll down to the grade compare, and select. Right now, the Vanta is set up with best match. What this does is it compares our sample with all of the grades in the grade library and finds the best match within that grade library. To further refine this, we can hit selected grade and then choose our sample, Monel K500. By doing so, the Vanta will now compare our sample to just the specifications for Monel K500. Let's retest our sample. Looking at the chemistry, we can see that nickel and copper are outlined in red. This outline indicates that they are outside the specification range for Monel K500. This is why we initially obtained no match. Our sample is out of spec. The red outline allows you to quickly see which elements are causing your sample to fall out of spec and to make any process changes that need to be made to correct this. You may also notice during testing that initially a match is shown, but then as the test finishes, no match appears. This occurs because as the precision decreases over time and the amount outside of the specification increases, we penalize the match number more, and that results in no match being displayed. I hope explaining what no match means has been useful for your alloy testing. Thank you for watching.